Doing the 360 defense requires you keep your body in motion at all times, using your arms to defend different angles of attack. The key is keeping your arms at an oblique angle with your hands open and straight so that you don't take any blows straight on. Each is deflected down the angle of your forearm, which reduces its impact. The kick's power comes from the torque generated by the rotation of the hips. It's the same principle that cracks a whip. Turning the hips just a few degrees forces the foot to travel a much greater distance and creates a lot of speed as it does. The longer the leg and quicker the rotation, the faster the kick. And unlike karate, Muay Thai fighters are also taught to strike with the hard bone of the shin. A Muay Thai kick can generate roughly the same force as a baseball bat, enough to crack a rib or a leg. The hyperextension of the elbow, created by pulling back on the locked arm, virtually ensures that he will be taken down. The knee strike to the wrist dislodges the knife and further loads the elbow and shoulder. The technique can easily result in damage to the elbow joint, the tendons of the rotator cuff, or even a broken arm. First, the opponent's arm works as a lever to optimize your control. Second, your own back serves as a pivot point for the throw. The strength and stability of your back allows you to throw a much heavier opponent than in a move that requires you to lift him. This kick is all about speed. The further the foot travels, the greater its acceleration, and the more dangerous a weapon it becomes. Powered by the muscles of the hip flexor and the quadriceps, by the time your foot reaches your opponent's throat, it's traveling nearly 40 miles per hour. That type of speed yields over 1,000 pounds of force, enough to puncture the Adam's apple and crush your windpipe. But the real damage from the knee bar doesn't come from gravity. It comes from leverage. Once the knee is locked, your hips act like a fulcrum, and his leg acts like a lever, multiplying any force you apply. So even though the ligaments and tendons around the knee can sustain 1,700 newtons of force, the knee bar can load a lot more than that, enough to completely destroy the joint. The key to the reap is to get your opponent's center of mass outside his stability zone. To do that, the Marine pushes his opponent at a location above the center of mass, while using his sweeping leg to create a tripping point, which is below his opponent's center of mass. Once the loss of stability has occurred, gravity does the work and the damage. On the ground and on his back, your opponent is now vulnerable to any number of finishing strikes. Starting from behind his opponent, the Marine wraps his arm around the enemy's neck and forces his elbow beneath the chin. Clasping his hands behind the enemy's head, the Marine applies pressure in a vice-like movement of the forearm and bicep. Working much like a nutcracker, your forearm and biceps apply pressure to your opponent's carotid arteries. Located on either side of the trachea, these two arteries are the only way to get blood to the brain. It can take less pressure than squeezing an orange to stop the flow of blood to the arteries. And with no blood flow, the brain shuts down almost instantly. Fight over. It's aimed at the largest gland in the human body, the liver. A direct hit won't just bring an opponent down. It can rupture the gland causing severe internal bleeding. But the liver is well protected by the rib cage, so the kick must be accurate to within half an inch.
this situation we create like a discussion with the partner. I use the, this for like a provocation. He attacked to me. I use the same moment for manipulation. How catch the leg, how manipulation now the body like a shield, counter the wall, control the wall, in the same moment control all the area, catch the leg and broke the leg.